myself i am t rajesh lochana assistant professor department of mathematics the standard fireworks rajaratnam college for women in this class we are going to discuss about game theory the chapter 17 game theory in this chapter we are going to discuss about the section games and strategy the sub section is 2000 zero sum games having zero sum character that the algebraic sum of gains or losses of all players is zero are called zero person zero sum games zero sum games with two players are called two person zero sum games if the max min value equals minimax value that means maximum of minimum row value which is equal to minimum of maximum column is equal then the game is said to have a saddle point and the corresponding strategies are called optimum strategies the amount of payoff at an equilibrium point is known as the value of the game see the example player a player b the row entries are 928664 the column entries are 986264 we have to find row minimum and column maximum for each row and each column for row we have to see the minimum entries so 9 comma 2 minimum is 2 8 comma 6 minimum is 6 6 comma 4 minimum is 4 next we have to find column maximum for 9 8 6 the maximum value is 9 for 2 6 4 the maximum is 6 let the pure strategies of a is sa which is equal to a1 a2 a3 and sb which is equal to b1 b2 so maximum of row minimum which is equal to maximum of 2 6 4 which is equal to 6 minimum of column maximum which is equal to minimum of 9 comma 6 which is equal to 6 so maximum of row minimum which is equal to minimum of column maximum which is equal to 6 so the saddle point is 2 comma 2 the value of the game is 6 dear students see the problem 1701 problem a player a player b the row entries are 5002 the column entries are 5002 so pay off matrix marked star represent minimum pay off in each row now consider the first row 5 comma 0 the minimum element is 0 so you put star and those marked with plus the maximum pay off each column and put plus for the plus in the place of 2 put plus for the second row and now consider column maximum the column maximum for 5 comma 0 is 5 the column maximum for 0 comma 2 is 2 so we have to put plus for the corresponding entries so what are, what is maximum of row minimum so maximum is 0 comma 0 which is equal to 0 and minimum of column maximum which is equal to minimum of 5 comma 2 which is equal to 2 so the game is not strictly determinable and not fair suppose which is equal to row minimum max, maximum of row minimum and minimum of column maximum which is equal to zero means the game is fair let us see example b player a player b 0 2 1 4 2 by 2 matrix the pay off matrix marked star represent the minimum pay off in each row and those marked plus the maximum pay off in each column in the previous example we already seen so we observe that the saddle point is 1 comma 1 see here the row minimum is 0 and the, for the second row the minimum is minus 1 and column maximum is 0 and for the second column the column maximum is 4 so in in the place of star and plus coincide at the point 1 comma 1 so the optimum strategy for the player a and b is given by a1 comma b1 so maximum of row minimum which is equal to minimum of column maximum yes which is equal to 0 therefore the game is strictly determinable and fair take 1702 as a homework problem now let us see 1703 player a player b so consider the row entries 247 10 7 4 q 4 p 8 So let the pure strategies of A is S A which is equal to A one, A two, A three, S B which is equal to B one, B two, B three. The payoff matrix marked 
start represent minimum payoff in each row and those marked with plus maximum payoff each column we observe that the saddle point at 2 comma 2 for 2 by 2 matrix we have to find the minimum row and maximum column as that of here 3 by 3 matrix we have to find row minimum and column maximum so in the 2 by 2 matrix we have see all the elements are integers but here unknown values q and v are given but what is the question the question is the game is strictly determinable for what condition this game is strictly determinable and fair so we have to find the range or we have to find the bound for p and q so how to find the bound how to find the range let us consider the optimum strategy for player a and b so the optimum strategy for player a and b is given by a2 comma b2 so what is maximum of row minimum the maximum of row minimum which is equal to maximum of 274 because the row minimum for the first row is 4 the second sorry 2 the second one is 7 the third one is 4 and find the column maximum the column maximum for the first column 10 the second column 7 the third column 8 so let us see maximum of row minimum and minimum of column maximum so which is equal to same which is equal to 7 what is given given condition is the game is strictly determinable and not fair so for what is the lower bound for q and p the obviously the required value of p is less than or equal to 7 and q is greater than or equal to 7 previous problem we see the saddle points games with the saddle points so next we have to see without saddle points games without saddle points for the game with the following payoff matrix determine the optimum strategy and the value of the game consider player a player b 5 1 3 4 clearly the given matrix is without saddle point see the row minimum 1 and the second row 3 for the column maximum 5 for the second one 4 so obviously maximum of minimum of row which is equal to minimum of maximum of column which is not equal therefore the given matrix is without saddle point so the mixed strategies for p1 and p2 are sp1 sp2 where p1 plus p2 which is equal to 1 and q1 plus q2 which is equal to 1 if e of p comma q denotes the expected payoff function then e of p comma q which is equal to q1 into a11 p1 plus a21 p2 plus q2 into a12 p1 plus a22 p2 next instead of p2 and q2 we can substitute 1 minus p1 1 minus q1 a11 p1 q1 plus a21 q1 into 1 minus p1 plus a12 into p1 in, into 1 minus q1 plus a22 into 1 minus p1 into 1 minus q1 the expected payoff function e of p comma q which is equal to 5 into p1 minus 1 by 5 q1 minus 3 by 5 plus 17 by 5 if p1 choose p1 equal to 1 by 5 he ensures that his expectation is at least 17 by 5 he cannot be sure of the more than 17 by 5 because choosing q1 equal to 3 by 5 p2 can keep e of p1 comma q1 down to 17 by 5 so p1 might as well as settle for 17 by 5 and p2 reconcile to 17 by 5 hence the optimum strategy for p1 and p2 are sp1 and sp2 value of the game which is equal to 17 by 5 so we are thorough with games with saddle points without saddle points and we are and we were seen the problems under saddle points with the saddle point without saddle points so we have easily more formula for finding value of the game and so on and the last class in the future class we are going to discuss about the expected payoff function under using graphical representation thank you